Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Shay. It's been a minute since I've done a TV show review, but I've been watching this show, and when I tell you they've been pissing me off, I I'm kind of late with Love, Marriage, Huntsville, so I'm going to go ahead and get into it with Detroit. So let's, let's go ahead and start. So we're on episode two, season one. We leave off with Christina crying. She crying and, you know, whatnot, because she just found out that her husband, Brandon, has an artist, signed an artist and everything, and he didn't tell her a goddamn thing. And then he has the audacity to try to blame Kobe. Sir, you lied to your wife. Why are you trying to act like this is Kobe and Russell's problem? Like, we're not about to do that. And Anthony was pissing me off so bad because his oompa loompa looking ass, he bought, y'all, I cannot stand him. He is way too sassy for me. Way too sassy for me. I don't understand. And he knows, he knows that Brandon is wrong, but still trying to find a way to blame Kobe, like, and Russell, like, it's their problem. So if, if Russell would have been quiet, if Russell wouldn't, it wasn't pillow talking, like, no, if Brandon would have just been honest with his wife, would not be an issue nobody <laughs> don't get me started y'all don't get me started so we move over to russell and kobe so i just have to put that this out there russell is my cousin we're distant cousins so i'm not close to him but if you see my review or hear listen to my review i i cannot be biased <laughs> i cannot be biased i gotta be honest so yeah i just have to let you know that okay so anyway, so we now we're at with Kobe and Russell. They're in their home um, doing a DUI or DIY, whatever. Y'all know, the do-it-yourself projects. They're doing that, and he lets her know that he wants to be a minister. He's going to go back to school because he wants to be a minister, and she is not here for that. She does not want anything to do with that lifestyle. She grew up in it. She did not. She looked like she low-key traumatized when she was talking about it. So I don't, I personally don't think that he should have just made that decision on his own. I'm not saying that you uh, should just stop your dreams because you're married, but you do have to consider your partner. I feel like he was wrong for just, you know, holding that information. Just because you don't, just because you're afraid of her reaction, that, in my opinion, you shouldn't try to hold back. Just because you're afraid of what somebody will say or, you know, how they will react to things. Like, at least give them the opportunity to, like, you know what I'm saying? To have a choice in, in the matter. Like, I don't think that was cool of him to even do. I don't know. Like I said, I feel like if that's what you want to do, that's fine. But you still should have told your wife your plans. I don't understand why any of these hugs. All of these hugs on the show. I don't understand why y'all so secretive. Like, why get married if y'all got to be feeling like y'all got to keep secrets? I feel like Brandon and Anthony, I don't know, it's just something, something about them. <laughs> I ain't going to get too deep in that. So anyway, so now we head over to Brandon and Christina house. And Brandon is telling his wife how, you know, the reason why he didn't tell her about the artist and blase, blase. Which to me, I don't even give a damn. You... He know he was dead wrong. But clearly this man, he, he doesn't care. He Christina... I'm going to need you to um stand up. This man is does not love you. Like, ain't no way that this man care this much about you if this, he keep playing in your face like this. Then the fact that when she called him, when she called this man just to talk to her goddamn husband, he want to act funny. And that's how you know when... <sighs> this is why men don't... Like, y'all don't even know how to do shit right. You, she calls you to try to talk to you, and you give her an attitude. You acting real funny, like you got a, a stick up your ass. But it's really because you trying to impress this person, this the artist that you got. But if the artist is just an artist, why do you feel the need to switch up on your wife? Like y'all don't even do shit right. Like I, y'all do not like it, when y'all cheat. We always know because y'all can y'all not consistent. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Then he got uh, the audacity to be trying to imply that Kobe is a fake friend and she a mean girl. When when you are the enemy, sir, Christina, you sleeping with the enemy. 
Why the, the enemy trying to call somebody else the enemy? It, I, make it make sense. Make it make sense. And then he's telling her how Kobe is copying him, copying her. She looks up to you, so blase, blase. Which, you know, she probably is influenced by her. I can't really say, because I don't know um, these people like that. But I, I don't know. I'm not getting that energy from Kobe. But I guess I got to keep watching to know. So after we leave um, Brandon and Christina Creer, we go hand over to Anthony and Dr. Latoya. Okay, Dr. Latoya. We should call her something else. Miss Dr. Don't know how to put her hus- um, keep her husband in check. That's what we need to call her because she- her husband always got some wild shit to say and she ain't never got nothing to say about it. Like, girl, tell your man to shut up and mind his business. And y'all going to see later on the show why we why she needs to tell her husband to mind her business. Russell needs to go over to their house so she can let them know how to mind your business. How you been... <laughs> how he was over there preaching to Kobe. Go over there to Anthony and Dr. LaToya because they need to learn how to mind their business too. Okay? No, go head over to Anthony. Not, not Dr. LaToya, to Anthony. Because he don't know how to mind his business either. So, yeah, we're at Anthony and Dr. LaToya house, and <sighs> honestly, <laughs> they're just talking about how Brandon and the whole Christina situation, and Anthony is just still over there blaming Kobe for what Anthony should have done. <laughs> this just don't make sense to me, y'all. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with this, Okay. Because they don't make any sense. Anthony, like, he's the... Per- I don't like him at all. He's the my, the least fave. Him and Brandon. I don't like any of these men. <sighs> so, anyways. The fellas head to the club with some dude named Barack. I think that was his name. Barack. I don't know. But y'all know who I'm talking about. They, they, little, they little promoter friend. They meet up with him in a club. And guess what? Again... Brandon is lying to his wife. His wife does not know that he's at the club. <sighs> Y'all. This man, this is how, that's what I'm saying. Christina needs to drop his ass. He keep playing in her face. Like, these, they be knowing. They be knowing. Like, y'all just got, off. like, he just, he just watched this woman cry. At the surprise and um anniversary date thing that they had, he just watched her cry. But still again, he's lying about where he's at and what he's doing. <sighs> and then when they ask him, like, what's the history? What's the history? He's saying that he emotionally cheated. But I have a hard time believing this. I really feel like this man, he cheated, cheated. He went all the way. I don't. I just don't believe that this man just was cheating by text messages. And then the fact that, like, not only was he emotionally cheating, uh, uh, allegedly, this man was dogging Christina out to this woman. Dogging this woman out. Christina, you are so pretty. I just don't understand. What do you see in this thumb? He looked like a thumb with hair. He looks like a thumb. <laughs> A thumb with hair. And he even got Anthony looking at him sideways like, dude, what did you do? Like, even Anthony, like, and Anthony keeps trying to find a way to, like, defend this man's behavior. You cannot defend this man's behavior. He is dead ass wrong. Dead ass wrong and still lying. Still lying. And then we have Kobe and Kobe and Christina in a meeting up. Because Kobe is like, she's feeling guilty. She feel like she was wrong for bringing up, you know, asking him questions or whatever the case may be. But I don't think she was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm with Kobe. He should have told his goddamn wife. So I'm glad that she said she meant what she said. Like, he was dead ass wrong. And I'm glad that Christina don't see it like the way that the men are trying to portray it. Like, she see it, she see it like, okay, she feel like her friend was just trying to help her out. Because that's honestly how I feel, too. But I feel like the men, I think Christina's husband and Anthony are really going to, like, put a wedge in these women's friendship. So now, Dr. LaToya is having an event, um, a wine tasting. Everybody got their little wine now. 
<laughs> but she had like a wine tasting or whatever. And um, she invites everybody. Everybody shows up. Well, everyone except for Russell and his wife, they didn't show up. But everyone else is there. They're the support, including Christina's friend. So while they're at the dinner table, they talking, they talking. And Anthony accidentally slips up. Accidentally slips up and tells everybody how they was ta- having a conversation about the topic at the club. He has so much stuff to say about Kobe and Russell, but you accidentally slip up at the table while his wife is there and tell them that y'all went to the club. After you know your homeboy, your friend, after you found out that this man told, he did not tell his wife that he was at the club. Like, make it make sense. Make it make sense, y'all. I, I can't. So after all that, Christina friend want to know, like, why is Anthony always in y'all business? He's always in y'all marriage. And to be honest, he was real zesty in this scene. <laughs> I'll be trying not to go there, but he is definitely giving zest. Because why are you so pressed and why are you talking to a woman like that? And why is nobody saying anything? Why are y'all so comfortable with watching men be super disrespectful towards women? Like, she didn't even say it. To me, she didn't say nothing wrong. She she said what we all wanted to say. She asked, why are you always in these people's marriage? Like, why are you always in their business? And he tried to, t- he going to tell her, don't play with me. Like, what? He's definitely, he's definitely giving zest. Gives off bottom energy. I don't get <laughs> He just do too fucking much for me. One thing Carlos King gonna do is make sure that he profits off of somebody's dysfunctional ass marriage, okay? Because love marriage, Huntsville, all those men need to go to hell. All of them. All of them. They, those, those marriages, I, not one marriage on that show that I won't. <laughs> and now we got... This damn love marriage, Detroit. Now, 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 one of these marriages I want. Like, I, I, oh my God. Like, I, I want the women to stand up, okay? Y'all deserve better. But all right, y'all. That's the end of my review. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a long time since I've done a TV show review. I've been meaning to do one, but the timing of it all, then I can never catch the TV shows, like, on time like it's a lot of work so it's been hard for me to do it but i want to start back but i hope you guys enjoy my review make sure you like comment and subscribe and please check out my online t-shirt shop at shopletsgoboys.com i'm gonna leave the link below so go ahead and check your girl out but all right till next time deuces